Hi, Erin Johnson here, Outstanding Ohio's Most Resourceful Realtor, and I'm here today with another Resourceful Realtor Thursday. Today's topic is buyer's agents. So I've had someone recently tell me that they were looking for a house and they weren't quite that serious, but they were casually looking and they would just either call the agent on the sign or just press interested on whatever site they were on, Zillow or whatever, and just have whichever agent go show them the house because they didn't want to bother anybody and um, they said they weren't that serious. So I think there's a few like misconceptions out there that I want to clear up and just do a little bit of education around this. So first off, to use a buyer's agent, that means you would have the same agent showing you all, all the houses that you're interested in. It doesn't typically cost you any money, except for perhaps a small transaction fee. But for the most part, the seller is the one that's going to be paying the buyer's agent's commission. So you should not not use an agent because you're worried about what it's going to cost you. Um, but the other thing you should know is that once that agent shows you the house, this I'll call it random agent, that you, you really had no process to vet them or to pick them because you called them off a sign or off of a website or whatever. Once they've shown you that house, they have something that's called procuring cause. And that means they basically have the right to be that your agent if you decide to buy that house. So once they've shown you the house, if you want to write an offer, you decide this is the one, surprise, you've got to use that agent. You can't, and maybe you don't like that agent. Maybe it's not somebody that you trust or doesn't have the experience that you want. You don't have a choice at that point. You pretty much have to use that agent. So, um, and it could be the listing agent. Some people think that that's an advantage to have the, the listing agent, but keep in mind that that means you don't have somebody looking out for your best interest. You, you have the same agent representing both the seller and yourself as the buyer, and there may be some conflicts there. So. Typically, it's best to have somebody that's looking out for your best interest and have your own buyer's agent. So the moral of this story is get a buyer's agent. We can um, help educate you in the process as well and to know what to expect. And you're going to be bothering somebody, bothering, but that's our job. Our job is to show you the houses. And it's better for everybody if you bother the same person because that person, hopefully, when you buy a house, will ultimately get paid for their work for showing you the house. If you bother 12 different agents to show you 12 different houses, only one of those agents is going to get paid. And it may not be the agent that you like the best or, or that you get along with. Um, and if it's a listing agent, they may not have your best interest at hand. So bother one agent which means get a buyer's agent. And I'd happy to, to be that person for you if you think we'd be a good fit. If not, it doesn't matter that it's not me. Just get one. Do everybody a favor and use one agent as your buyer's agent, and they can be there to help you through the process. If you have any questions about this, don't hesitate to reach out. 330-227-4355. Thank you.